Now, of course, we bring to light the people who actually constructed this building. We want to thank each and every engineer, planner, constructor, laborer, technician, who expended countless hours and energy and worked meticulously to put it all together. Under supervision of the China State Construction Engineering Corporation, it goes without saying that these people have successfully materialized the idea into a paramount reality. Representing the China State Construction Engineering Corporation as the head of international department, we have with us Madam Li Ao. May I request you, ma'am, to please come here and express your views about the project. Excellence, Mr. Shabazz Sharif, Honorable Chief Minister Punjab, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Members of Parliament, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I consider it a great honor and a privilege to present China State Construction Engineering Corporation at this auspicious occasion of the inauguration of the Alva Software Technology Park. The construction of the tallest, most modern, state-of-the-art high-tech park is not only a symbol of CSC's strength in field of construction, but also a living proof of government of Punjab's commitment in development of information technology. For this prestigious project, which will attract the eyes of millions. CSCEC organized the most ex experienced management staff and arranged strongest construction resources. We feel fortunate to establish a profound and long-lasting association with many of you who are pres present here, especially with the Honorable Chief Minister, Mr. Shar Shabazz Sharif, an extraordinary administrator, blessed with the unlimited virgin and untiring energy to oversee the well-being of his people. There is a Chinese saying, everlasting bond, describing two people or two parties who remain friends in all seasons and develop mutual trust. It's my belief that CSCC and the Punjab have such an enduring bond of which our, our software technology park is just a beginning. Thank you. We would like to thank Mr. Javed Asnam, Chairman PND Board, Dr. Uma Saif, Chairman PITB, Project Management Team, and all officials of the concerned departments for extending the best of our cooperation and the guidance to make this version a success. The police department deserves our special appreciation for making foolproof arrangements for the security of the Chinese staff engaged in this project. Thank you. Thank you. We would like to acknowledge the excellent arrangements made by the government of Punjab for the treatment of our staff who got dengue fever last year. Despite numerous commitments, the chief minister, his staff and the team members took keen concern in the medical treatment staff. To conclude, I'm certain that this facility will produce several Alpha Kareems, who will be shining stars in the field of information technology, and that we will be building many more such projects in the future. Sir, thank you very much for your support and the long live part China friendship. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Li Ao. Um, we also have amongst us Mr. Zhu Jing Cheng, the commercial counselor to the ambassador of China. 
Mr. Cheng, together with the Chinese ambassador, has employed his expertise and prudence in developing various projects in Pakistan that strengthen the foundation of our relations with China. May I please request Mr. Cheng to join us here? Uh, honorable Chief Guest, uh, Chief Minister, uh, respected uh, advisor to Chief Minister, also uh, respected chairman of the PITB. So, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. Uh, it is a great honor and pleasure to attend the inauguration ceremonies of Alpha Software Technology Park on behalf of the Chinese Embassy. Also, on my behalf myself, please allow me to express my sincere congratulations. So it has been more than four years since laying the foundation of the Alpha Software Technology Park. Through hard work and the close cooperation of both sides, the construction of the tallest skyscraper in Lahore complete successfully. The majestic, modern and beautiful building is not only a landmark of this great city, but also a great symbol of China-Pakistan's friendship. Last year, 2011, marked the sixth anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relationship between China and Pakistan, and was designated as the year of China-Pakistan friendship. A lively and grand spectacle of joint celebration had been conducted during the whole years. During which we have witnessed hundreds of activities and interactions in various fields. The China Park friendship, with its glorious history, is becoming more unpopular in both countries' people's hearts. The friendship year also witnessed some development of economic and trade cooperation between China and Pakistan. According to Chinese statistics, the bilateral trade volume of 2011 stood at 10.56 billion US dollars an increase of 21.9% compared with last year. China now is Pakistan's largest trading partner, also the largest exporter and fourth largest importer. Chinese government further encourages leading Chinese companies to take Pakistan as a priority destination of investment. China is also one of the biggest foreign investors in Pakistan covering a wide range of sectors, including infrastructure, energy, communication, and agriculture, with all closely related to people's livelihood. In 2011, the two countries started the second round negotiation of FTA, as well as agreed to give a five-year extension to the development program on trade and economic cooperation from 2012 to 2016. The blueprint for a great cooperation between China and Pakistan is drawing up. I sincerely hope and firmly believe that, under the care of the two countries' leaders, and through firm, practical, and future-oriented measures and efforts of two countries' company, the economic and trade cooperation between China and Pakistan will carry forward with more fruitful achievements. In the future, and the relationship between two countries will be further enhanced and strengthened. So, Pak China Friendship Jindaba. Thank you. And now, without further delay, I would like to request Honorable Chief Minister Punjab, Mr. Shabashri, to come and grace us with his words. <clears throat> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim.
guest of the evening, most honorable guest, Lieutenant Colonel retired Amjad Karim Nadawa, father of daughter of the nation, late Alfa Karim, and Mrs. Colonel Nadawa, Sadar Zulfikar Khan Kosa, Senior Advisor, Government of Punjab. Dr. Umar Saif, Chairman, Punjab Information Technology Board. Begum Zakia Shah Nawaz, Advisor to the Government of Punjab. Mr. Zaim Kadri, Special Assistant to the Government of Punjab. Mr. Zhao Cheng, Commercial Counselor, Chinese Embassy Islamabad. Mrs. Liao, Head of International Department of China State Construction and Engineering Company. IT experts, professors, businessmen, honorable government officials, their guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. I have this uh, proud privilege to inaugurate this great milestone in the field of information technology. Arafa Kareem building, IT building. And I think there couldn't have been a <coughs> better name to assign to this great monument of technology in times to come. I remember having visited this great daughter of the nation weeks back in the hospital and of course she was unconscious but was struggling to recover from her illness. But I was extremely impressed by her parents, particularly Colonel Nandava, who stood there like a very caring father, knew that his daughter was uh, seriously ill and a daughter respected from Khyber to Karachi not only in Pakistan but a young girl of international fame who had earned international appreciation and kudos for her God-gifted capabilities and of course her very innovative work. And Colonel Nandava over there was extremely poised, deep down extremely concerned. And I must give him full marks for his composure and of course remembering her daughter every now and then and trying to move forward with her dreams to be fulfilled by her colleagues, by her fellow students and of course mentors like Dr. Umar Saif and of course her vision, her poetry. I think uh, today is the evening to offer our deepest sense of respect and uh, appreciation to this great daughter of the nation who tried to fulfill the dreams of people much older to her but left this world without fulfilling her own dreams. Here is this evening, ladies and gentlemen, we have to 